Greetings, Word Horde. We're here with an exciting option for you, a version of our podcast without any ads. That's right. No advertising interruptions, just the content you love, ready to go in your favorite podcast apps like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. It's another way to support the show, ensuring that we keep bringing you the word stories and language explorations that you love. Try it at waywardradio.org slash ad free. And it's affordable. For just a small subscription fee, you can enjoy a way with words uninterrupted, except by us. Plus, it makes a great gift. Know somebody who loves language as much as you do? Give them the gift of words. Easy to sign up, easy to enjoy. It's the same away with words, just streamlined for your listening pleasure. Go to waywardradio.org slash adfree. Support us, support the show, and enjoy an ad-free listening experience. waywardradio.org slash adfree. Thank you. Welcome to another podcast edition of Away With Words. I'm Martha Barnett. My co-host, Grant Barrett, just left here with a butterfly net. He said something about going out to collect specimens of slang. Anyway, speaking of collecting, it's the moment you've all been waiting for, the results of the Away With Words Collective Noun Contest. You'll recall that on a recent episode of our show, Jennifer from Sarasota called us to talk about collective nouns, and we discussed several of our favorites, including an exaltation of larks and a shrewdness of apes and a clouder of cats. Well, Grant and I decided that it would be great to hold our own collective noun contest online at our brand new Away With Words discussion forum. You can visit the forum and meet fellow word lovers there at waywardradio.org. That's wayward, as in way with words, waywardradio.org. On the forum, we asked you to propose new collective nouns for the following three types of items. One, a group of tennis players. Two, a group of aliens from outer space, say a crockery of aliens. And finally, putting all modesty aside, we asked you to come up with a collective noun for more than one language-loving radio host. Well, the results are in, and all I can say is that Grant and I need a collective noun for a whole bunch of clever answers. Now, before I announce the winner of the first Away With Words collective nounathon, I want to share with you a few of the other strong contenders. Now, you remember the first assignment was a collective noun for a group of tennis players. Mark W. suggested a set of tennis players. Well, of course. And a forum member with the mysterious name Gray Enigma suggested a court of tennis players, which I also like, and a serving of tennis players. And I have to share this groaner from J.B. Villarreal, who suggested a wimble ton of tennis players. J.B., I'm afraid you win the Collective Nounathon's Punner Up Award. Now here, take it before Grant gets back. He can't stand that kind of humor. Anyway, moving on. What's a collective noun for aliens from outer space? This query inspired many of you to the outer limits of creativity. Randy Truman proposed a Roswell of aliens, which I really like, and others included a Trek of aliens, a Spielberg of aliens, and a probe of aliens. Ouch. Another strong contender was a grok of Martians, and of course that's a reference to the verb coined by Robert Heinlein, meaning to understand profoundly, a grok of Martians. For some reason, though, the collective noun for language-loving radio hosts proved to be the toughest challenge of all. Mark Namark offered a cackle of lexophiles. Well, he has that one right. And T.C. Burks came up with a text of word herders. So plenty of strong individual entries here, but of course the goal of a collective noun contest is to produce the best collection of collective nouns. And in that respect, two finalists stood out. So without further ado, and please hold your applause until the end, the runner-up in the collection of collective nouns contest is a string of tennis players, a swarm of aliens, and a logjam of logophiles. That entry was from Phil Constantine, so congratulations, Phil. And now for the winning collection of collective nouns. The winning entry was 
a deuce of tennis players, a spectrum of aliens, and a bavard of word hosts. What? A bavard of word hosts? Well, it's from bavard, which in French means garrulous. So, a bavard of word hosts. Now, we'll grant that this one does require a bit of explanation, but we kind of liked it anyway. So how about a big round of applause for Eddie, the forum member who sent in the winning entry. Eddie, enjoy that copy of Jeff Prucher's new book, The Oxford Dictionary of Science Fiction. And there's lots more going on at our discussion forum right now, so stop by and join us. That's wayward, as in way with words, waywardradio.org. In fact, why not drop by and tell us your favorite term for a person who loves talking about words? Do you prefer logophile, wordster, wordnista, or maybe something else entirely? Amble on over to waywardradio.org and tell us. And remember, Grant and I welcome your questions and comments by email, too. Our email address is words at waywardradio.org. Or call our anytime language line. It's 1-877-929-9673. We'd love to hear from you. Here's one last collective noun. How about a gratitude of thanks for listening to our podcast? Talk with you soon. I'm Martha Barnett. Support for Away With Words comes from ThinkMap maker of the Visual Thesaurus, an interactive dictionary and thesaurus. The Visual Thesaurus brings language to life. Learn more at visualthesaurus.com.